Hey guys, welcome back to the testing map that is Westbridge. Um, today I've been working on the CT660, <coughs> currently hooked up to the <coughs> 43 foot Wilson. Um, what do we have here? We have a pretty glossy, um, chromed out CT660 um, with some nice uh, diamond plated details and and such like that and a lot of uh, interior body work and uh, wheels and such like that so it's a very uh, detailed mod um, hop inside you um, first thing you'll notice is the steering um, have the uh, steering hooked up Still kind of working on scripting everything. Uh, finally, have all the IC functions um, installed, so we can go ahead, open the hood, close the hood, um, and um, go ahead and lower the lift axle, raise the lift axle. So that's cool. Um, we have our front lights. Um, blinkers, all uh, IC controls, so pretty cool stuff there. Then we can turn on our warnings, but we got our running lights. Um, we can turn on our work lights. Um, then we have cabin lights. If we come into our cabin, which is nice. Um, also, um, could turn these lights on and then obviously turn on our cabin lights here nice uh, detail in the interior spent quite a bit of time we re uh, redoing this um, shifter um, decals uh, cup holders seats um, seat belts and everything like that and of course then you can um, open and close um, these doors as well um, so that's a nice little feature and not only can you open and close the doors but you can also raise and lower uh, the windows if you want to drive with the uh, windows down so and then of course uh, let's go ahead and turn off our lights and uh, we'll start it up for you um, if you notice it has indoor outdoor sounds so it's nice and quiet inside um, then you go outside it's a little bit louder turn on our running lights here you can see that our uh, third uh, triaxle and if we go ahead and um, go ahead and lower our third axle the wheels will stop spinning and we just hop back in our truck um, nice turbo sound to it inside and you can hear kind of a beat more beefy engine we got our rpm gauges and speedometer What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to load this thing up with some grain and see how it handles. Uh, this also has cab suspension. You can see the uh, cab is uh, bouncing all over the place. And then we also have uh, dyeable of this mod. Is you can uh, buy different colors from it. So there's our nice view of it. We have um, some, some uh, pieces are chrome. I'm not really a big fan of chrome, but in some parts... Um, it does look nice just because you uh, the chrome pieces don't get dirty so it's um, a little awkward when and then it also has reverse lights that actually light up the back um, so that's nice and then it has uh, multiple braking 
reverse sights again. Um, so what do we have? We got a lot of canola we can load up. So we're going to load up some canola here with our triaxle lowered. Um, this truck also has another feature that I haven't shown yet. Um, it is completely functional in slowing the truck down. So we'll put our tarp back up. steering this triaxle down I like the nice quiet inside for sure window down when we're driving. So one thing you'll notice is my speed. Not slowing down. Engage the engine brake and she uh, begins to slow down pretty good. So that's nice that the engine brake is functional. Just coast here and watch my speed. It's not really dropping that fast. So that's the nice thing about that engine brake. When you engage that engine brake, it's uh, pretty powerful at stopping the rig. So. So far, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, um, only a few things I need to adjust on are the mirrors. The mirrors, I can never get mirrors to work properly. So. the four-wheel drive disengaged triaxle down yeah uh, we're just kind of cruising around this map now nice beefy horn Turn on our brights. And a nice little view of the suspension working. Can you hear that turbo spooling up?
And that is the uh, CT660 um, for now. So thanks for watching.